Oh, 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 oh. As often as we do this, game four. Looks like the Raptors got a new rejuvenation of energy after their game three win. OG and Anobi at the buzzer over Jalen Brown. Get the Raptors back in the series. They're down two games to one. Could they tie this thing at two? Man, if Jalen Brown, I know he's got to be so pissed at himself. They were, the Celtics were on the verge of getting rid of the Raptors in probably four games if they win game three. Now you in a dogfight against this feisty defending NBA champion Raptors team. They don't got Kawhi no more, but they still veteran-led. They gritty. They smart. I mean, they there is still going to be a tough out. Definitely now after you lost game three and they got a little momentum. Let's go Toronto Celtics game four. Man, I am so excited for the Eastern Conference Finals. I'm excited for this right now, but I, I, whoever comes out of this, like Miami is going to be a tough out. But I'm picking whoever comes out of this series to be Miami, though. Sorry, Heat fans. And I picked the Raptors to win this series, by the way. So I'm consistent with mine. Siakam. That is definitely a good sign. Because Siakam has not been the best version of himself in this series. Kemba, I see you, boy. So let me ask you guys something. What do you guys think the Toronto Raptors need? It, let's say they're one guy away. Is there a guy out there that you guys see could, that could fit in with Toronto uh, and, and make this team whole again as they are the defending NBA champions? Like, obviously, you can't find Kawhi Leonard. He's not available on the market. That's why he's one of the two best players in the game. I think he's the best when he wants to be. But, like, what, what, what could they do to, like, you know, play, like, kind of field whatever Kawhi gives you, right? Or some of what Kawhi gives you, kind of play, do it by committee type of ordeal. Let me know what, what kind of play you think they need. Because uh, I'm looking at this Celtics team. I think this Celtics team is one big away, a cheap defensive big, and time. Uh, you know, that's the only thing I think the Celtics need right now is uh, maybe a defensive big. I like Daniel Tice, but maybe a defensive big. As Fred Van Fleet gets rejected by Marcus Smart. I think the Celtics just need time. This is a pretty damn good basketball team right now. Wanamaker. He's got a nice stroke. I would like for him to shoot it more, actually. Lowry. Ooh. He has been attacking the rim. I know he got blocked there, but I love it. He has been so aggressive for Toronto in this series. They have needed it and more as Tatum gets a bucket. Y'all know what I think about Tatum, man. That, he is next up. He's trying to make his next up like tomorrow. Like today. As Ibaka goes 3-3. Three, three. Okay, Ibaka. Now, I've been somebody who said... I would start Ibaka. He had 18 points in this one. 7 and 9 from the field. I still don't think Marcus Saul is giving me enough, man. But maybe Nick Nurse wants to run it like that. Maybe he just wants Ibaka off the bench because he doesn't believe Mark can give him anything. I would put Ibaka in that starting lineup. But, hey, what do I know? Nick Nurse is the coach of the year. Celtics down 6. Kimball. Jalen Brown. Good pass. Good, and, by the way, good lane. If you was on 2K, Jalen Brown, you get like a, you you get a, a few points. You go from a B plus to an A minus. The way you filled that lane, bro, that was a great fill of the lane for Jalen Brown, and his point guard rewarded him for it. How, how about a Baca, lighting it up? Kemba, floater in the lane. Who led Boston in scoring in this one? Looks like it's been a pretty balanced attack so far. Kemba only nine shots. Who got all the shots? Wow. 18 shots for Tatum. He was good. 10 of 18. 18 shots for Jalen Brown. He was bad. 4 of 18 from the field. That is not good. Too many shots for Jalen Brown. 2 of 11 from the three-point line. Too many shots for Jalen Brown. He cannot be that bad from the field and continue to shoot. Sorry. It ain't just shoot. keep shooting me out of it if you're Jalen Brown. Nope. Uh-oh. Fred Van Fleet tying this one up at 49. As we go into the halftime locker room. 
Okay, Tice with the deuce. Something's up too. Go get you a bucket, Mark. And that's a block? I, I didn't think that was a block, but okay. Mark, Mark, I say this every Raptors game. Mark's about ready to, to call it a career, man. Kyle Lowry. Nope. Give, at least give me a scream, Mark. Like, damn. Oh, gee. Oh, that's where he made that game winner at. I better watch him from over there. Raptors up. Van Vliet passed up a three. Okay. Two now, and that one's true. FBR with the deuce. The Raptors playing some ball. Now, now, this feels like a Toronto Raptors game. It feels the like they're in control. Siakam doing something he had not done to Jalen Brown the first three games of that series. He wants that smoke in this one. Like it. More Siakam. That boy's starting to get it together. He's getting that confidence. It's an eight-point Raptors lead. How many Siakam have? 23 for Siakam. Still bad from the three-point line, but I like what I'm seeing. And look at Lowry, man. Lowry gonna, on the low, Lowry going to sneak into the Hall of Fame on y'all, man. He just make winning plays. Do always lead the league in charges taken. Look at this winning play from OG Ananobi. I see you, I see you bro. Earning his payday. FBR Lowry back there. Man, I promise you, man. Lowry just make the extra passes. 22 points, 11 rebounds, 7 assists. Oh, and a nice little move. Look at him again. Make it. Watch Lowry, man. Look at Kyle Lowry. Man, are you witnessing what I'm witnessing with Lowry, bro? This dude is so slept on. I used to be one of the people sleeping on Lowry. But I, I realize as he makes another great pass to FVR for the three. FVR had, what do you have, 17 in this one? Man, Lowry, man. I used to not really care for Lowry. And then I realized it wasn't him. It was him and DeRozan together. They, they were not the best of tandems together in regards to trying to win a championship. Get DeRozan away from him. This dude looked like a dang Hall of Fame candidate, man. Look at Lowry. Look at point guard. Look at point guard. I got the big fella on me. I got the big... Hey, y'all so sleep on Kyle Lowry, man. This man is so good. I used to sleep on Lowry, man. Look at, look, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, point guard. Bro, I'm, Lowry is doing these folks right now. Jalen Brown trying to make a game of it. Probably got fouled on that one. Not called. I'm cool with that. See, I can look at him go right back at Jalen Brown. Uh, I'm not a fan of the jump. I, to me, that's a win for Jalen Brown, but Siaka made it. He hadn't been making that one in this series, though. If, if, I'm, if I'm Jalen Brown, on one end, I'm going at you. On the other end, you pulling up. I feel like I'm still kind of in your head, though, as Tatum gets the deuce to go. Tatum had a good game, but I feel like his impact wasn't the same as games in the past. Look at power drive. No. Abaka, yes, sir. Yeah, Raptors playing their game. It's, it's, it's a lot more grittier. Not as much finesse in this one. Look at look at guys on the ground. Brown finally drills a shot, gets it down to five. So I think this is the closest the Celtics get it to. Raptors ain't going for it in this one. Look at Lowry. Look at Lowry. Look at Lowry out there. Man, y'all ain't giving Lowry enough credit. This man, this man is dissecting Boston now. He's putting his teammates in the best of spots to win. Are we not watching the greatness from Kyle Lowry right now? Like, this man is absolutely putting on the show right now. And what you're not going to see is the, the, the charges that he took in this game. That, man's, that man make winning plays, man. Who knows where his career would be had he never played with the Martyros. Ooh, good block from OG Ananobi. That's game. Ty's missing free throws. And one, Jason Tatum. That's it, though, bro. This series is tied at two games. Wow. I cannot believe that is literally how it goes sometimes. Have a chance to close this thing out. 
In four games, if you're Boston, you win game three. All you got to do is stop Jalen, is stop uh, OG Ananobi from getting that three off. Even if you go to overtime, even if you give up a wide open two, which I doubt they would have gave up at the angle that Kyle Lowry had to make that pass of a taco fall. All you got to do is give up a two-pointer, go to OT. Look, I got Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. I like my chance in OT. I like my chances with Jason Tatum in the clutch. I just do, right? But you give up the three out of all shots. You lose game three on a miracle-type ordeal, and now you in a dogfight, bro. And I hate to be this guy. Hate to be this guy. But look over in the other series. Jimmy Butler and the Heat. Look, I know that the Heat are up 3-0 on the Bucks, but trust and believe, they are battling Giannis. There's a reason why they're up 3-0. They are making it difficult for Giannis. Reason why I bring that up is to say, you finna give those bigs for the Heat, and when I mean bigs, I mean their threes and their fours, the Jimmy Butlers of the world, the Jay Crowders of the world. I don't mean center. I mean actually mean like the forwards, the guys that are putting in the work, the big dude. I'm talking about like strong guys, the Crowders, the Jimmy Butlers, the Andre Iguodala. They got some big boys over there. You about to get these strong forwards time off the rest of their body after banging with Giannis for four games? All right, man. Look, I, I already said I'm picking whoever wins the Celtics Raptors series. I got Toronto uh, to win against the Miami Heat. But you now you're making it more difficult. You're giving, you giving the Miami Heat, if you're Boston, you're giving them a few days of rest to get ready for you if they sweep Giannis and the, the Bucks. I don't even know if Giannis is going to play tomorrow. I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, man, it's just going to be interesting. I am very, very, very excited to see where this series goes. It is a uh, two, two. Now y'all let me know what y'all thought about game four as Toronto Eve is this bad boy up. That is Toronto basketball. That final score is 193. That felt like Raptors basketball. That's where they would like the game. You don't want to play that offense game with the, with the Celtics. They're too good. And they're these young guys. When they get that confidence, they just. It's tough. You keep it around there. Baca get involved. Siakam start to muddy this game up. The defending champs got a chance to make it to the Eastern Conference Finals uh, back-to-back years. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the game in the comments.